Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 14th of November and we'll be able to set up beyond that with the Exeter GFS and ECM Ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us in towards the last stages of uh, November and I shall get on with that for you. In a moment, just say back first, a video say, what's our six seven UK world for girls? Like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos. So, thank you everyone for doing that. But anyway, like doing this, I'm going to show you as much of the trails um, as I can. We will also have a look if we can at uh, the uh, midnight runs as well. Uh, right, so you can start off anyway with a latest wind product from Earth, no school.net. Showing that low pressure is dominating the weather in the North Atlantic and bring the weather system through like that. To the south, that we've got these warm. Uh, uh, Subbly winds to the uh, north of it. We've got some slightly cooler uh, westerly winds, but low pressure in the ascendancy. Those warm southwest it is lifting up central in temperature. The CT is currently sitting at 10.6. That's 4.2 degrees above 61 to 90 average. And that's provisional to the 3rd of November. Well, these are the GFS of rare temperature precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, the red line is the third year of air temperature average for London. Setting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment, really quite warm. We do see upper air temperatures coming down over the weekend into next week, but only reverting close to average. There's no sign of anything particularly uh, chilly or cold coming up, except for that one outlier member there that just dipped down a little bit into a freezer, but that's an outlier. It looks like temperatures are going to be staying generally around to a bit above average, but not as warm as currently. Precipitation-wise, so quite a bit of dry weather, actually, in the south and the east over the next few days. We might start to turn a bit more unsettled, though, around the middle part of the month. Temperature anomalies for the next uh, five days, from the 9th of November, substantially above average. The same 14 day is closer to normal, though. And the precipitation anomaly for the next seven days, 7th of November, dry of an average, 8 to 14 day, also comes out dry of a normal. Right, let's start going for chart data then. So, let's maybe we'll have a, have a look at the UK Met Euro uh, for midday. Right, so, uh, no pressure heading in from off the Atlantic, and uh, will we bring unsettled conditions with it through uh, Friday into Saturday? On into next week, well, a transient ridge tries to build up from the southwest, but that looks like it's being pushed aside as a low pressure works out to the west. But that low pressure is kind of stalling to our west. So, um, a ridge building over to the east country should bring quite a dry weather. It's going to be warm, could be mild anyway. Winds continue to come up from that southerly uh, direction there. Right, well, that's that one done. This is how the 12s there. I can't is uh, looking as well, by the way. So, uh, again, low pressure out to the west, higher pressure to our uh, east. More unsettled there. Look at that. More unsettled with the icon <laughs> uh, compared to UK there. Uh, Tuesday to Wednesday, low pressing control to west UK item. It's both agreeing that it's going to be very mild when it's from a southerly southwest direction, but the icon would deliver more in the way of rain. Let's push on and have a look at the KMA. So that one building up some higher pressure over the country uh, through the early part of next week. Um, and high pressure, well, increasingly reaching through there as we move up towards day 10. And that's the setup. And beyond day 10, with high pressure south, low pressure north, a familiar, mild, sort of westerly type pattern. Right, that's that one done. We saw the GFS, that was the, that was the uh, KMA midnight run, I should say. This is how the GFS 12Z is looking. Um, so high pressure is trying to build to our north and north east, trying to get a bit of blocking going there over the weekend, low pressure to the west and to the uh, southwest as well. And then high pressure takes over across Scandinavia, switching the wind around to more of an easterly then. 
So, rather different with the GF Bears. We've got high pressure blocking between Scotland to Norway, low pressure down towards France. That brings in a proper east. It's not a cold easterly, um, but uh, well, obviously we'll have a chill to it, but it's not a particularly cold easterly that we have there. And then high pressure sort of dominating as we move into the second half of the month. Big anti-cyclone setting up right over top. Country would deliver a lot of dry weather, but could also be a fair amount of frost and fog. A bit of a gruesome t shirt, possibly. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. So, what do you think about this and all of our videos content? Don't forget to tell friends about gas. Don't forget to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Let's push on. Let's push on. Have a look at the GM. Uh, so, again, the GM <laughs> sounds so sweet. So, low pressure dominating out to the west, bringing um, mild sun. Lovely winds there. Uh, uh, heights building though up towards Greenland. Oh, however, the cold air stays locked in uh, to the very far north across far north Scandinavia, Norway, Finland, etc. But it does, does uh, it does turn quite cold there. That's how uh, the upper air temperatures look. So winter properly embedding in across uh, central and northern parts of Sweden, Finland, and uh, also Norway. Up there, but for us, we remained uh, mild up to day 10 there. Uh, with the jam, winds continue from that southerly southwesterly direction. The cold not strong enough, the block not strong enough to push that uh, mild air away to the south up to 14th of November. And then the east jam, it looks like this one. 12 is just coming out, but we'll have a look at the midnight run with low pressure again. Moving in from off the Atlantic and bringing uh, generally mild and unsettled, mild uh, southerly winds with some unsettled conditions with it through the early part of next week. And then high pressure increasingly building over and to the east of the country into uh, towards day 10. So winds again coming in from that southeast to the easy direction. Probably quite chilly, not cold, probably quite chilly. Or rather, a rather dank conditions would be expected there. It looks like there's quite a bit of higher pressure, though, I think, next week. The only question is where its position is going to be. Well, this is my precipitation forecast based on that East Run from Tibetan.com. So there will be further pulses of rain to come over the next day or so, along with these very mild subly uh, southwesterly winds. The trend, though, next week is a drying one as that high pressure builds over and also to the east of the country. Right, so these are the ups of the table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 14th of November. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland, low pressure down to the south. That's just about started to pull in some colder air, I think. <coughs> Sorry, sorry, everyone. That's just about side pulling some cold air uh, from the east up of the northeast. We've got 11 with high pressure sitting between Scotland and Iceland. Mostly dry but quite cold. Winds in from the east. We've got 10 with high pressure over Scandinavia. Bringing in a not particularly cold but probably quite chilly easterly. We've got 9 looking a lot milder. High pressure just to our east. Low pressure out to the west. That will bring up a southwesterly wind. We've got 4 with high pressure over to the east country. And we've got 2 with low pressure over the country. Most of the options seem to involve high pressure but the exact placement and wind direction uh, remains to be seen. In two weeks time, these are the options that we've got. And it gets us to the 19th of November, 17 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to the east, bringing a lot of dry uh, weather with it. Wind probably a bit easterly, 13 with high pressure again over coach. Got 11 with high pressure towards Green Iceland, low pressure through the West Europe. And that will bring in quite a cold uh, northeasterly flow, potentially. And then we've got 10 with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, winds in westerly direction. Bit of a hint of retrogression towards Greenland, though, uh, with those ones. 
I don't know, I just get the feeling there's a lot of a lot to play for here in terms of next week's weather and up to the middle of the month is the second half of the month with higher pressure and where that higher pressure is gonna be sitting. So I think it's gonna be a case of watch this space. I don't think this is sorted out at this stage. Surf SV2 beats the 500 middle bar. High times broken down to week periods. The first week period takes from floor, take from no bear. But next week you have high pressure to be east, low pressure out to west. That draws up a silverly flow. Week 2 will be the 11th to the 17th of November. Higher pressure again to the north, to the northeast. Low pressure way to south, southwest. That brings up a southerly, south, a southerly type flow. So same mild there, anyway, for weeks one and two. Week three will be the 18th to 24th of November. Low pressure west, high pressure to the east. That keeps the wind up from the south again. And then finally, week four is the 25th of November to the 1st of December. I should get to the first day of December with surface day. And uh, low pressure then breaking through. So that's revert to a classic sort of zonal setup. Uh, winds coming in from the west. Low pressure north, high pressure to the south. More unsettled, obviously. Uh, but at least it will be by and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for showing everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all my videos content. And don't forget to turn on the back down so we get to do. Thanks everyone for doing uh, that. So tomorrow, more updates on the way. Keep checking back to the channel for more of this. All that's all for now. And thanks for watching.